Life. What does it all mean? It goes up. It goes down. It goes right. It goes left. But it never goes backwards. Time. It strangles you by the neck and never lets go. Like a python flying out of the toilet and killing you in the middle of your bat mitzvah. Family. Like a cornfield that won't bloom on the first day of harvest. You can never escape them, and, and they, they can, can never, never escape, escape us. us. Everyone has a story. And, and this, this is, is ours. ours. This is Janina Bagdogas, a Lithuanian pop star, actress, socialite, and amateur chicken-related item collector. She was best known for her impeccable fashion taste and dynamic dance moves. She spent nine months at the top of the charts. And we spent nine months in her belly. Growing up in Lithuania, we did what every normal kid would do. Like visiting the Ignalia nuclear power plant. Playing baseball at the nuclear launch site. Found our moral compass at the Devil's Museum. And our most favorite, we did the former USSR bunker experience where we got to pretend to be a prisoner. It was so much fun. And then, tragedy struck. You know that scene from Zoolander? The movie where Ben Stiller plays a supermodel who's brainwashed into killing the Prime Minister of Malaysia and loses his friends in a gas station explosion? Well, that's exactly what happened with our mom. Exactly. Ben Stiller stole our life story for his movie. Fuck you, Ben Stiller. Our mother's death is not yeah, a joke. fuck you, Ben. We were lost. Broken. Set adrift. Just like Terrence Howard when he said one times one equals two. Like every devastation. Like the bombing of Hiroshima. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And the cancellation of ABC Family's Bunheads. We didn't know what would happen next. We were shipped off to boarding school, forced to live with civilians. They made fun of us for being fatherless. They called us losers, bastards, no good, very bad, really sad and annoying kids who did not have and will never have a daddy. We were so sad until... On our 18th birthdays, we were given a letter from Mommy. My dearest babies, happy 18th birthday. I wish I could be there to celebrate with you, but my soul has chosen to forgo my body to eternal life where I've always meant to be, hell. Please do not cry for me, as I am laughing and dancing in the fiery pits of hell with my lord, Satan. There is something that I feel you are now old enough to know. Long ago, before you were born, I met a man who was intellectual, sexy, and had a preference for bees. During that one night we spent together, I fell in love with that man. It's about time you know the truth. Pookie and Miwa, your father, is Jerry Seinfeld. This says there's nothing we can do. Yeah, it looked like you were in a real conversation over there. <laughs> That's how they met. We do have a Anyone who saw this scene like could that. see the raw, right. intense, unfiltered well, chemistry between them. After Mom got pregnant with us, she must not have you told him, insurance? because he moved on with some high schooler. But we know parents, that deep down, he loved us, because during every one of his shows, so he holds his arms cup. out for us, like he's hugging us. Then, we set out to the only place we knew we could find him, Glendale, California. We even tried our hand at stand-up. Have you seen that TV show, Girls? Where are all the men? What's the deal with that? It wasn't the best. But now, we know exactly how to win his heart. We're going to create the most outstanding, poetic, balsamic album ever known to man, woman, child, or extraterrestrial being. For, for our, our daddy. daddy.
great. Uh, sure, we've only written about two songs in one year, but they're gonna be some of the best songs of all time. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. In fact, some of the best artists of all time have taken a long time to write their music. Adele. Carlos Santana. The Thrashing Sons of Satan. Boy George. Since you ran into our lives, lives, lives we newly have thrived. thrived. You were running really late, late. Matt, I swear to God, if you mess this up one more time. You're supposed to be singing the alto when you're clearly singing the soprano. You know I've always thought of myself as more of a soprano. She doesn't have the vibrato to pull it off. I will say, like, everything's doing well, but Amanda does do a few things that really, like, irk me. She, she's been trying to put, put a lime and a coconut in every single song. Thomas is the love of our lives, and he puts the lime in the coconut and takes it all up. And that stupid fucking idiot, he always has to sneeze in fours. <laughs> No, he doesn't have to sneeze that many times. He's only doing it for attention. I tell you, only for attention. She steals the covers every single night and I am left freezing. When we first got to Glendale, we visited all of the famous sites. But our favorite was the Los Angeles Live Steamers Railroad Museum. We may have taken our love of trains a little too far. And you know what they say, too much of a good thing may not be a good thing. Okay, so this is the part where we talk about the best season was when Hannah was in Iowa. Uh, I've been meaning right? to talk with you about that, because the best season was clearly when Marnie started singing, and then she stopped the entire party and made them all listen to her sing. Well, I don't know, we talked about this. The best season is clearly when Hannah's in Iowa because it's a five season arc, even though nobody cares about it. And then Andrew Reynolds shows up and everybody knows that Andrew Reynolds is one of the best characters in Girls. Okay, that is true, but it also could be season six where she gets pregnant by a stranger, and then right before she gives birth, she makes eye contact with somebody in the subway. And they're about to bang until she figures out she's pregnant. Okay, but you clearly don't know what you're talking about because one of the best episodes other than Iowa is when Adam Driver decides to just leave Jenna and go be with Hannah even though they haven't been together for years and even though he's pregnant with someone else's baby and he says I'm gonna take care of you and raise this baby and they're together for a whole episode and then they break up at the end without even explaining it and he just goes back to Jenna. I think the actual best season is when Marnie has that uh, bottle episode with Charlie when he becomes a drug addict after he's getting a divorce with Desi. Okay you clearly don't know what you're talking about and we're not gonna argue with this it's gonna be I No I'm done. So we are going through a little bit of a rough patch but I really think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna finish this album. We decided to hire a producer. Yes, we found him on this website called Craigslist. We are not sure what it is, but there's a lot of really cool stuff on there. I got this used syringe for a discounted price. Whatever it is, it is delicious. Hello. So yeah, uh, I'm actually really excited about it. Um, I'm not even actually a producer. Uh, I work at Petco down the street. My mom always says, like, cast a wide net, uh, and then you never know what you're gonna reel in. And I took maybe, like, two or three guitar lessons, and I saw their post on Craigslist, and I was like, why not? Give it a shot. Hey, can you watch these? Yeah. <gasps> Looks like they're, uh, Already starting without me, doing some percussion in there, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Hi there, I'm Anthony. It's a mwah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, very European. All right, okay. Come on in. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I'm gonna show you all this. Okay, okay. This. Are you ready? Yeah, this yeah, yeah. A recording our studio. state of the art oh my God. recording studio. You know, I've never been in a recording studio before. Um, it's smaller than I thought, but it, it looks amazing. So yeah. professional. This is yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is where we sleep. Together. Okay. Yes, this is our bed. Together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. super bohemian. Yeah. How long have you lived in Idiot. 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 <clears throat> Um, we are ready to start. We're ready to start. Oh, so. great. That's awesome. Okay, okay. Uh, so we are rolling and. <coughs> 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 okay, all right. And two, three, 
four. Shia LaBeouf is, is underappreciated. Okay, so you have like too much twang? No, I didn't have enough. No, you didn't have enough twang. Shia LaBeouf is underappreciated. Shia LaBeouf is underappreciated. Shia LaBeouf is underappreciated. Shia LaBeouf is underappreciated. Well, I was really no, I, I thought you sounded really good out here. Don't don't worry too much. It oh sounds God. good. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Just, oh my I'll God. stick just, to your yeah, job. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. We'll, we'll just restart if that's alright. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Please we restart. are rolling. And two, three, four. Shia LaBeouf is underappreciated. No, you went okay, too high this time. Was, no, it was a little too I high. I was really good. You were really good. Guys, no, guys, it sounded even better than the first time out here. It sounded really good. Don't why is he talking to you? Idiot. Why is he talking to us? I'm just, we okay, I'm sorry. It's, it's your project. You're right. Yeah, it's our project. Thank you for okay. saying that. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. One yeah. more time. One yeah, more time. Yeah. We got it. This is the one. I feel it. Okay. And rolling. <clears throat> Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf is underappreciated. No, I just didn't no, sound You know what? I don't think it's us. Mm. <clears throat> Guys, I, I'm sure really? it sounds odd to you, but it's probably just the echo. It sounds really good on my... Okay, we're just going to need a second little, personal... Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Fucking He's awful. We should fucking fire him. We should fucking fire him. It's oh. not working out. It, I'm sorry. I'm this Craigslist... I don't trust Craigslist anymore. I don't Craigslist. Don't cra trust Craigslist. Uh, I probably shouldn't be in here. We haven't written in several months. We googled it and found this thing called writer's block, and that's definitely what we have. I started to tend to the roaches we found around the apartment, and I have a real motherly instinct that I didn't even know about. Come on, Rosetta. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Hey, I love you. You look so pretty today. Have you heard of planking? I am very into it. I take the recommended doses of Advil, and I can plank for hours. It is exhilarating. Mm. We're getting so nice and clean. A tickle, tickle, a tickle, tickle, tickle. Henrietta, we talked about this, okay? You have to be by yourselves if you're gonna talk to your sister that way. You got it? I mean it. This is my thing. Fuck off. Oh, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on your toes. Stepping on all of them. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Janice, I know. I know I've missed the last, like, six shifts, but I think we're making something really special. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my God. Sorry. Yeah, so... <laughs> Matt, I swear to God, if I hear you with that Advil bottle one more time... I have to take these. These make me stronger. They thin your blood and make you weak. Why would I have to take them if you didn't leave all these plates all over the You're floor? Oh, guys, 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 guys. Why don't we use these emotions, you know, these really high emotions in, in the song? We can fuel it to make... Uh, uh, I can't uh, today. I have a hard, strict planking session at okay. 2. Okay, I have miss. to take a bubble bath together so we can be busy. All right, no, no, I understand. And I get lived experience is important for songwriting, but we, we really have to kind of get some stuff done. We've written two songs. It's, it's, it's... Okay, stupid. Catherine Heigl, not trying to win an Emmy for it. You dare compare me to Catherine Heigl, okay? She was amazing in Geostorm. Catherine... Yeah, I think you might be right. I don't know. Kind of yeah, I know. We, we gotta get back into it. Right we need to write. For yes. Daddy. For daddy. I miss daddy. daddy. Yes, yes, yes. What should we do? You know what we should do? We should talk to mommy. Yeah. We should talk to mommy. Yeah. She'll know she what, to always knows what to do. She always knows what to do. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk to mommy. Talk to mommy. Talk to mommy. Let's talk to mommy. 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 Mommy, 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 mommy. So back in Lithuania, it's actually quite common to talk to the dead. Yeah, it's a really big pagan tradition, so it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot of devil worshipping, and the devil is kind of a lot cooler than God, I would say. Yeah, I people here are really just like, they hate the devil, yes. and they're like, ah, Satan, I'm so scared. Mm -hmm. yeah, Satan is a lot more fun, I would say, than this God. I think he's really misunderstood, and I think mm -hmm. that Americans should be way more open to what the devil has to teach us. Devil worshipping is fun, and I think we should teach it in kindergarten. Yeah. Mommy, are you there? Mom, are, are you, you out, out there? there? 
Oh my god. 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 Oh how many Grammys are we gonna win? <gasps> oh. oh! Nine? Okay. Wow. No, we're not. I mean, obviously. I knew we had it. I mean, we've been working so hard. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. 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 I have an idea. Okay, okay, I have an idea. Okay. <clears throat> Mommy, does Dad have a lot of chest hair? <gasps> <gasps> o, o N. S I what? do it! Well, you have a lot That's of why chest I have a lot of chest, oh it makes God. a lot of sense. Oh, oh, sexy? Dad, he's, he's, he's so sexy. So sexy. He looks so good. He looks okay. so good. Okay. Mom? Why didn't you tell us about Dad? No, that's not a fair question. She had her reasons, and so did he. I think we deserve to know, though. This might no, be no, the only it, chance that we have to Mom, ask that. Mom, why is the TV show Secession so bad? And why is it winning so many Emmys? Oh, she's so confused. She's just as confused as we are. <sighs> okay, um... Mom? Does Dad really love us? That's not a fair question. He loves us. He made the bee movie for us because we all love bees. Okay, but he has a family now and he has kids now that he clearly loves and pays attention to. He loves so us why too. Can't he pay attention to he us? loves us. We've reached out so many times and he's never gotten back to us. Tell me why. We got the signals. We have the signals. I think we deserve to know. This is our only chance to find out. That's not a fair. Mom, mom, just protecting us. Mom, for a reason. Tell us no, why no. Dad doesn't love no. us. Mom, no. Stop it. Mm. Mine. No. Stop. stop. You know what? I'm done. You can live in your fantasy world, but I'm not going to be a part of it anymore. Welcome to my home. This is my bedroom. You can see here by the nice recline and the nice pillow that I have. This over here is the living room. Lots of space for company. Don't judge yet, I haven't fully decorated. Um, this is the bathroom. Don't smell that. Um, I have like a, it's like a half bath or half bedroom, half kitchen, I would say. Got myself a nice uh, little snack from Tyler. Oh, oh, okay. That's okay. I think it's pretty nice, you know. Not as good as what Matt and I had, but I'm adjusting pretty well. I didn't see you there. Welcome to my humble abode. I don't know if you've seen a place this big before. Actually, uh, bid a lot more money than Ellen DeGeneres to get this place. <laughs> Let me show you around. This is my kitchen, dining hall, where I have distinguished guests. If I were to have two guests, dead or alive, it would probably be uh, Pablo Escobar or Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is my nook. A little cranny over there as well. This is my pool. Let's have some fun. This is my kiwi garden. This one's my Easter room. My Christmas room. This is the room where I watched the series finale of Lost. Oh, oh honey, the camera crew is here. Come say hi. This is my Academy Award winning wife. <laughs> I've been doing really well. Um, I can't really talk about it. It's a top secret thing. I need to put this on right now and turn off the camera. I'm being very serious. I had a run-in with the cartel, things went south, guns were blazing, but I kept calm. I killed a man and a woman. All right, we're at the secured location. You can take the bag off now. Drug dealer shit. I've decided to take my love of roaches to a whole new level. I've taken all different types of insects and put them together to fight to the death. I call it kerfunkle. I'm doing really great. This one's named Chappie from the hit film Chappie, and this one's named Splice from the other hit film Splice. They're some of my favorite movies. Come on, Chappie, you got this. I know you can do it, Splice. Splice, you're holding back on me, Splice. I know you got this. Come on, guys, I've trained you better than this. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, no. Splice, Splice, move it, Splice. Splice is gonna win this one, and... 
Splice crossed the finish line. I knew it would be Splice. Girl power. Daddy was on Stephen Colbert last night if you want to watch with me. Daddy was on Colbert last night. My first guest tonight created Seinfeld, and this Thursday night, he'll be in a year-long residency at the Beacon Theater here in New York. Please welcome Jerry Seinfeld. He did the thing. Oh my god, oh my god, that was the sign. That was the sign. He did the signal. You miss her. Oh my god. Don't even need glasses. I fucking hate Walgreens. I'm a CVS kind of guy. I have to finish this album for daddy. If it hadn't been forgotten, I'd Joe. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? If it hadn't been forgotten, I'd Joe. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? If it hadn't been forgotten, I'd Joe. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Oh, I know. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Daddy loves us. Yes, he does. Of course, he wants to everything with us. I see it now. All we have to do is finish the album, and then he will love us, and he will find Forever. us. Forever. Oh, we're stronger together. We're stronger together. <laughs> Get it. So what do you say? Let's finish this Let's album. Finish it. We finished the album. It was so great. So great. So we, easy. we flew through it. Yes. Yeah. We were yeah. so connected to the music. Harmonizations. Harmonizations. You were harmonizing with me. I was harmonizing with you. We were harmonizing with somebody else too. I don't know. I don't know who was there. there. Yeah. It was magical. Yes. The way our fingers hit those strings, it was like a volcanic eruption of music. <laughs> And also, we sold our soul to the devil. And finally, most importantly, we really like to thank our daddy. Even though you were never really there for us, you somehow always were there for us. And without you, we wouldn't be able to make this album. We would not have. So, for so, you, daddy. For you. For you. We love you. Please call us. Yeah. Um, thank you. We would like to also thank our Lord and Savior, Satan. Yeah, we love you. Uh, good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Seinfeld is my daddy. He may pretend I don't exist, but I know he loves me. We hold our guns outside of your house for your wife, but we haven't had to use them yet. Daddy, this album is for you. We hope you like it. You'll be our papa and we'll be your babies. Papa, 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 papa,
Papa. 